don't even like my intro. Uh, Alright guys, Birka here. And today I'm here to finish off the CSGO tutorial uh, that I started a while back. And I know I'm actually finish finishing something off for once, you know? I don't really do that all that often. I have like, what, three, four series going on right now that I don't even, like, haven't done much on for in a while. I'm talk about you, Portal 2. Anyways. Uh, we, I'm here to actually finish this so that I don't have to worry about this anymore. And I've been, you know, busy with school and all that stupid stuff. I've actually, one of my subscribers contacted me and I was like, Oh, why are you making any videos? It's like, I, I would try to be creative, but I'm kind of busy a lot of the time. And not to mention, I did get a PlayStation 4. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield, which is fucking amazing. It's so good. So good. Uh, but you know, enough on that at 11. Um... For now, we're going to be, uh, in CSGO here, we're going to be actually publishing the skin that we have developed last time, which was on part one of this series. Um, and hopefully from there, we will yeah, maybe get it on Steam and maybe actually get it into the game, which I highly, I don't know if that will happen, but, you know, it's, it's worth a shot, I guess, really. They added a bunch of new skins, either today or yesterday, I'm not sure, but, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter, that's not the point of this. But for uh, to start off here, there's three main things you want before you go to publish or submit your um, like your actual the skin. Uh, one of them is you need your original skin, which is the JPEG I used for this for the skin. Also, you may know that looks slightly different, but that's just because it's a Photoshop change I made to the other one to make it look a lot more like uh, uh, that's Photoshop there. Never mind, uh, like an actual camo kind of. If you know what I mean yeah there you go it looks it looks okay I guess it doesn't look that great but you know you can let one like it up if you want there's my name right there for steam wow shame shameless self plug I'm so good at that um, anyways um, yeah to make a you're gonna need a VTF file which is just basically it's how the valve search engine reads or reads a texture you're gonna want a, t a dot text file which is very important, that's basically also kind of like the same thing, it helps to just, you know, it shows if there's any changes that you made in here, which I didn't make any, I don't think, or I made a little bit of offset, but, but we'll leave it like that. Um, so you need a text file, a VTF file, and the last file, which um, is, if, oh, sorry, I took a little bit of time there, uh, it's a dot .target file, which you can actually... It's probably the first one, since most people want to know how to make a dot .target file, I'll probably do this one first. Um, it's actually very simple, but you will need some like Photoshop or some form of photo editing program. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open up my, your JPEG or PNG skin or whatever it is, as long as it's openable, openable by Photoshop. You want to open it. It should, you know, bring it up here. Uh, it looks a lot more pixelated here, but in reality it actually doesn't look that bad in here. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go save as, save it to your desktop, and down here at the very, very bottom is a .tga, which is very important for what you need, like I said, uh, I'll just name it, what should I name this type of skin, Galil Blue Camo, that sounds okay, uh, and save that. Um, I'm pretty sure you want it above 16 bits, so keep that in mind. I don't think you want it below or even on 16 bits, so 24 and 32 should be fine. I'll just do 32 for the sake of this, just because I know that works. And there, we got a target file, so we got our, already got one step done right there. That's very important. Um, for the next file, which is a VTF file, is also actually quite easy. What you want to do is just open it. Make sure you have VTF VTF edit, which I should leave a, down a download link for. I hope, unless I forget something, which you know does occur to I'm not I'm a hu I'm a human that does occur, occur with me. Um, so you just want to open a VTF edit, and then it should bring it up. And there we go. And now this is pretty much this is easy. You just go save as, save it to the desktop. I'll call it uh, Galil Camo. There we go. And save as a VTF. I believe we should be able to close it. Uh, yes, there he is. And also, I still have no... What is that? That person? If someone knows, just leave a comment or something. But it looks like some, she's sucking someone off. Like, oh my fucking god. They could not have picked a worse picture to use. I'm pretty sure I said that last time too. But god damn, it makes me very, very uneasy when I look at that. 
like not sick, but it just it's unnerving. I think that's the right word. Oh well. <laughs> um, now for the third piece of the puzzle is to make a dot text file, just to you know for any changes you made. Of course, I said that already, but just for people that don't know, um, it just you know it does it does what I said. I'm just gonna move that over a bit because there's something. Yeah, looks better. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go to save as uh, you know you can always make folders in here which I will show you how to get into in a sec but uh, just save it into this area like it should have all this stuff in it oh, excuse me I just burped <laughs> um, I'll call this Galil blue camo again and let's save that so now we have all three pieces of the puzzle that we need we got the Targa, we got the VTF, and we have the text file. So now we'll show you how to get into there to get into the files. How you do that is you go to properties within Steam, which is the easiest way to do it. You go to local files, you go to browse local files. Uh, you can slow it down if you need to, if you need to go slower, because um, I say that a lot. And as you can see, we have the text file right there. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna make a a new folder real quick. Call this Galil Blue Camo. That's where all, all the pieces of the puzzle will go. Um, so I'm going to put the the actual thing in here. There we go. And since I already have, uh, actually, I'll, you know, I'll just drag it in there just for the hell of it. I already had I already had one in here from beforehand, but you know, I did that last episode. That's old news. This is this is all the new deal here. Um, there we go. We have all three of the of all the things we need. And now we can actually get to the real part of, pub of publishing, which is, it's actually not that, people think it's hard, it's really not that difficult, but, you know, first time it took me a good couple hours to figure out. So how you want to do this is you want to go to submit, and this should open up, uh, yes, here we go. Oh, uh, here we go. And then it should open this up. Uh, you'll need, uh, I probably should have mentioned this uh, earlier, but you need, you need CSGO SDK, which is what this all the stuff is like that main menu right here uh, that downloads it so you can open up this and that just basically it, it really helps I'll put it that way I don't really want to you know explain myself so just download it it should be you go to Steam and it's in uh, software I believe no is it installed nope it's somewhere on here tools yeah, here it is, tools. And then um, it should be right here. So there you go, easy enough. Uh, yeah, I'm just going on such fucking stupid tangents. It's all its all for the sake of the show here, people. Um, so this is, this is it. This is basically everything that'll get your thing onto the actual Steam thing, like the, the workshop. Um, title is just the title of description is what you can put to describe it. Now this is where you want to put in your. This is these are the three pieces here. Like you know, boom, boom, boom. That's what you need. Uh, you go browse. Yeah. And let's see. Is this the right area where I need it to be? Is that, I believe it's right here. Okay. So all I did was press up again. So when you're in that screen uh, that I was in past before, you just press the up button. You should go to here, which is where everything is. Uh, keep that in mind while you're doing that. Then in here we have the blue camo text file, which is you know what what Valve needs because Valve is like a baby. They need all they need all the things. Um, there's the .tga we used. You can just browse for that, put it in there. And then for finally, you need the VTF, which is there with that seductive aerial from Disney. <laughs> um, and then you can agree to all this stuff. You can you can check the agreement for it, and you can go to the FAQ there. Now, for our title, uh, actually, I'm just gonna do all this in the background real quick. So, just I'll hopefully edit this. I don't need to wait around. So, be back in a sec. All right, so I'm back here. Um, I got like all this stuff all sorted out. Got like a description. Got a uh, little name for it. Story Night. Story Night's go. It looks. Uh, it's a pretty nice thumbnail. I made it actually pretty quick. So it may look kind of garbage to some of the other ones I made. But it's you know I have a tutorial to make. I can't spend all night making a thumbnail. So now that we have all this stuff done, I uh, have a description, a bunch of self plugs in there too. So you know, hashtag self plug for me. Um, and then now we can just go to uh, can go to publish. Let's see what we do. Oh, 
All right, so that little misstep actually brings up a good little point here about um, .target files, which that is, it has to be a certain resolution for it to actually work. Um, I believe the highest for um, the uh, CSGO targets is 256 by 256. So I'm probably gonna go with that for now, but I, so I'm gonna go back into my target and edit it all, and I will be back in a sec. All right, so finally, after getting through all that publishing stuff, um, yeah, this is this is my page for it. I don't know that the resolution on that really cut down. I have no idea why, but I I don't know. Steam works in weird ways, but this is this is pretty much the page for it. It's Stormy Nights Galil Galil Blue Navy Camo. Um, I doubt I'll get much on it because I really didn't work all that hard on the skin. It doesn't really look all that great, but you know, stuff stuff may happen. So I'm hoping maybe people do like it, but you know, you can't really you can't really beg people to enjoy it. So you know, that's that. That's pretty much the tutorial. Uh, I'm just gonna finalize this here. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, so I was able to get the link for this page and stuff. So if you want to check it out, maybe like it up in the. Uh, in the description, you can do that. Also, I have another one um, here. Let me just go find it real quick. I made one of a Mac 10. Um, yeah, there's another one, the Pyramid Ski Mac 10. I actually believe it. Yeah, I got a few on it. Um, it looks. I like that one too. That one looks really cool. Um, so you can like that one up too. I don't. I don't know how to like. If wait, can I just get this? Okay, there. I, I'll actually be able to get the. Um, the link for that in the description too so you know uh thanks for watching i hope this story wasn't too stupid i went off on a lot of random tangents trying to actually figure stuff out myself so you know that that just happens i can't really do much about that but if you liked it uh, i guess you can you know like the video subscribe if you want to see more i really it's your opinion not mine um and yeah thanks for watching and have yourselves a good day see ya